Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie if you're new and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, you guys, I have a what I eat in a day. I thought I would finally do one. Um, I have, I wish I would have did one the way I ate before because I was having weight loss, but it was a very, very slow progress. Whereas it took me from September up until about May to lose 27 pounds and then I kind of just got stuck there. So within these last couple of weeks here in July, I have decided to change my diet, eat more clean, eat more organic foods, and eat more wholesome foods and not as much junk food. So I do have snacks and stuff like that, but I have changed all of them out for healthy alternatives. So I thought that this would be a really good time, especially for me because I have lost so from May to July, before I decided to change my diet, I had gained three pounds back. So I was down to 223 and then I had went back up to 226. Now I was going back and forth between 226 and 228. So I had gained between three, three to five pounds back. And so it was, I was just getting like, I kind of just didn't know what else to do. And the only option left because I was still working out was to change my diet, to finally stop being hard headed and change my diet. So that is what I have decided to do. And within the last week, so from last Saturday to this most recent Saturday, which was, let me look at a calendar y'all. So from the seventh or from, from the 18th to the 25th, I had actually lost five, 5.2 pounds or 5.4 pounds. One of the two. So in a week I had lost five pounds when I was originally only losing like one to two pounds a week and so that has been really really exciting um i did weigh myself a sunday so an additional day so if you want to say like in eight days i lost a total of 6.4 pounds yeah so in six days I, or eight days i lost 6.4 pounds with my new eating habits and then i've also been doing sydney cummings workouts um more recently which i learned that my body also does more well with the high paced um workout plan and it's something that i could very easily do at the gym i just get really distracted at the gym and because there's nobody pushing me making me say okay time to go time to go i tend to lag and that's why our workouts would be like two hours but um, doing Sydney Cummings, I can burn about the same amount of calories, but I do it in a shorter amount of time. And I realize my body really thrives off of workouts like that. But Brian and I did decide to cancel the gym membership. So that's another reason I just started doing Sydney Cummings workouts. So, so that's, those are the only two changes here recently is the workouts that I do and also my eating habits. But it is also breakfast time. So it is 9.45 in the morning. And so we are gonna go ahead and get into eating breakfast. I try to eat anywhere between nine and 10.30. I try not to eat after 10.30 because I really like to eat lunch around 12.45, one o'clock if possible. So that is what we're gonna, cause, and so that is what my plan has been every day. And I try to work out by eight o'clock so that way I can stick to that nine o'clock um, workout. Yeah, those are all the changes that I've made. I've also stopped taking my thermogenic and just some changes that I've noticed since I've changed my eating habits is that I no longer need a thermogenic to sweat. And with the research I've done, a lot of the junk foods that we eat or like just eating really bad in general can affect your thyroid and your thyroid is what affects you from sweating, which affects you from losing weight and things like that. And since I've changed my diet, like I have been sweating like crazy. Um, the smallest things can make me sweat now, which if you've ever, if you've been watching my channel, you would know that I have a really hard, I used to have a really, really hard time just like I would get hot, but I would never sweat. And so that's why I had started taking a thermogenic, but I have recently been off of my thermogenic for about the last two to three weeks. And I don't need it anymore since I've changed my diet, which is super excited. It's super exciting and I've also started drinking more water and at first whenever like my body was getting rid of so the first week that I started eating clean 
and actually like the first couple of days and like drinking more water my skin flipped out so i had texture i had breakouts and now that my body is kind of getting used to things my skin is so good and so glowy and so bright and i'm just so excited so yeah let's go ahead and get into this i'm sorry for the super long intro i just thought it would be a good idea not only to do it in our new little workout corner that we have going on we want to get a few more things for our workout corner um so if you guys want to see i don't know anything to do with workouts um suggest any workout or waist loss videos down below and i will try to film them but yeah let's go ahead and get oh i didn't even finish my last thought oh my gosh does anybody else think like that anyways i was saying i thought it would be a good idea to let you guys know what i've changed what i've been doing different and what my start weight was from the get-go so the 27 pound weight loss i actually started out at 250 in september of 2020 I was starting out at 250 pounds and then I got stuck at 223 in May and then between May and July before I changed my diet I had gained up to five pounds back and now I am down I gained to three to five pounds back and now I am down six pounds in a total of eight days which is so exciting so now I am at 220 with my 30 pound weight loss and I am this much like so much more closer to my goal of 200 pounds so my goal weight right now is 200 pounds I didn't want to set it to be something that seemed impossible so once I hit 200 pounds my next goal weight is one uh 180 and then i kind of just want to maintain that and start building muscle from there i'm sure i'll continue to lose weight but i look at old pictures of myself and the way i looked and 175 to 180 looked really good on my body type and so that's kind of my goal so yeah let's go ahead and get into breakfast finally yes All right, you guys, so we are in the kitchen, obviously. Um, I didn't want something too heavy today. I actually need to go to the fridge real quick because I believe that some of these yogurts might be expired. So all of these are expired. I hate throwing food away. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to show you something. So basically, what I'm going to have for breakfast. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to have for breakfast are uh, some of this granola. And I got this from um, Costco, and I just liked it because it has probiotics in it. And then I got, I'm going to eat this too good um, Greek yogurt. So it is a low-fat Greek yogurt. But it also has 12 grams of protein. And whenever you want to lose weight, you got to make sure you're eating enough. And I'm going to make show you guys just how to do that. I'm going to drink one of these naked. And then I'm also going to have some blueberries and strawberries on the side. Mostly because I don't want these to go bad. And so what you can actually do is... I believe I've showed you guys this before. So if you want, go to... Go download the My Fitness Pal app, and then every day it'll give you a goal based on your activity, your weight, your height, your body type, and things like that. So my goal is, my original goal that I need to be eating every day is 2,340 calories. But because I did a workout this morning where I burned 435 calories, this is how many calories I need to eat. I can meet that or I can stay a little bit below just so that way I can have that calorie deficit. But you definitely want to get as close to your calorie count as possible because this is made for you to not overeat. This is made for you to still have a healthy amount of calories. And so what I like to do is, so I'll add my food. So it says add food and then I'll choose breakfast and then multi add and you can actually just scan the barcodes of whatever you are eating. And so it'll tell you, okay, four ounces. Okay, go ahead and do it again. Same thing. Of course, I'm gonna drink that whole thing um, and then we're just gonna keep scanning them. I don't believe that this barcode would read last time. Yeah, so I wouldn't read last time. So what I do is I'll just search Driscoll's blueberries and it'll bring all these up for you. So I'll do, I'll try to see what the easiest way is for me to do. So I'll eat one ounce and that's my one serving. Let's make it two ounces just so that way I can get 
as close to um, as much protein as possible. So I'm gonna eat two ounces of blueberries and then we will scan the barcode for the strawberries. I don't know if it brought this up last time. It's hard to for it to read the ones from Costco because they're like a different size. So I'll do the same thing. Okay, so see right here, and I again, I try to do it to where I can measure it because I do have a scale, and then we're gonna do maybe two ounces of strawberries. We'll see how much I actually end up getting, and I can go in there and edit it. And then the last thing I will scan, because I don't think I've added it yet, is the um, granola, which, you sh which did scan last time, I believe. Yeah, so I'm going to do 55 grams. How much is 55 grams? Mm. So I could also just do three fourths cups, which which is probably what I'm going to measure out. And yeah, so and then you just add it. And it tells you, you can also click here. Like if you click where your calories are, it'll tell you how what your goal is for protein and all those things so that way you don't go over anything. I'm always usually over my vitamin A and vitamin C. I'm not sure if that's bad or not, but I always go over my goal for the day. I don't know. It's hard to not go over my goal. So yeah, now I'm just gonna go ahead and prepare my breakfast. So this is breakfast, basically a parfait bowl and a mighty mango naked. So yeah, you guys, that is breakfast. I will see you either for a snack or for lunch. I might need a snack because this is one of my lighter breakfasts, but I let Brian take my syrup that I usually use for waffles and pancakes. And so I didn't want to make something like that today. And I'm just not feeling that hungry today. And I think it's because we ate steak and shrimp and a lot of veggies last night and it's still kind of feel full. But this is what it's going to do be and then I'll probably drink some water or I might make me a nice coffee. I don't know yet. Probably going to drink my water. <laughs> Alright, so you guys, it is currently lunchtime. I'm running way behind. It is 1.59 p.m. So um, I'm actually just going to stick, um, since I'm running so behind, I'm just gonna make me a pot pie. Now these only have 610 calories. Sounds like a lot when you think of just a pot pie, but because I have to eat so much, it's perfect. So yeah, that is what is going to be for lunch. And if I'm still hungry afterwards, then I will eat something else. But we're gonna do the same thing where, you know, I get my phone, we go to my fitness pal, add food, lunch, and we just scan the barcode and it just adds it for us. We'll see, it'll, it'll, it'll even tell you like this food has 34 grams of fat, your total for the day is 93 grams. So I can go and actually see, I still have 47 grams of fat to eat before I go over. So yeah, just gonna go ahead and warm this up and then I will show you guys if I'm still hungry or if I need a snack later. Um, that's what I'll be going to eat. Okay, so as I was taking my pot pie out the oven, I figured some of you guys probably either don't eat meat or are vegan. So I wanted to show you guys that of the pot pies, Marie Callender's actually does have a plant-based version. So, and Brian really, really liked these. I haven't tasted them. I'll probably eat one of these tomorrow. But one thing you do have to understand is that from for one, this, this one has a lot 
more calories than the one with me and these ones are also always going to have a lot more sodium because i don't know what it is with plant-based stuff but they always have a lot of sodium and then obviously a vegan option for these are so delicious makes a dairy-free yogurt there's um Chobani has a dairy-free yogurt. There's also the Silk that's dairy-free yogurt. But again, anything that's dairy-free or anything like that is always gonna have less protein. So you always gotta find like a little bit more ways to get that protein in. Now the vegan meats, they will have your protein, but like I said, it's always gonna be high in sodium. So, I mean, it's kind of up to you, your diet, your lifestyle, your choice. Those are just some options and some fun facts to know. Also, to drink, to help me reach my calorie count, one thing I've been liking to do is grab something like this. So Berry Punch Body Armor Light. So what these are are just low calorie, no sugar added. So these ones are only 20 calories and it just kind of helps me meet my calorie goal. But I'm having a feeling and I'm having a craving for chips and salsa. So if this doesn't fill me up, I'm definitely gonna snack on some chips and salsa. I'll let you guys know whenever that time comes. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is dinner time. So what we are having for dinner is my take on Asian food. And what I've learned from tracking my calories and things like that is that like 99% of your seasonings do not have calories. It's actually the sodium that you have to be careful with, which is something that I already done. I only use pink Himalayan salt or I might use like a dash of Old Bay or something like that, but I don't cook with very much sodium at all. So that's not something I really track too much. Um, I don't eat a lot of salt throughout the day and I can tell when I do because then the scale says that I gain like two or three pounds from all the water rate it's retaining because of all the salt that I ate. So but anyways, I say all of that to say, <laughs> Um, what I'm making for dinner is my take on Asian food. I don't know, Ali is Asian food. So I'm making these vegetable spring rolls. I'm gonna make some of these. And then I buy this little deluxe stir fry bag from Walmart. And so I'll just, uh, I'll cook the meat first and then I'll throw these in, the, in there once the meat's about halfway done. And today I am making it with chicken. And then I have these seasonings up here so it's not so much it's gonna be more like korean type based so i'm gonna use this korean barbecue sauce and a little bit of bangkok peanut sauce to kind of season the food add some extra seasoning it'll basically obviously be our sauce to the food and so yeah i guess you guys can watch me cook oh and i'm also gonna make some um some rice just like some plain rice Sometimes I make sweet rice. I might make sweet rice. I don't know just to have like that sweet and savory But yeah, so let's go ahead and just Get cooking. Oh, and it's seven o'clock. I probably won't get done cooking until about 7 30 7 45 But yeah, it's 6 59 now
All right, you guys, so this is how dinner turned out. This is actually the serving size of the spring roll, so I got four. I'll just make these little Asian style bowls and I am drinking my water. So now I'm about to eat dinner and edit and watch Vampire Diaries. So I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you want to see more of what I eat in the day to lose weight, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.